Hi, folks. So, were you ever playing around with the cutter wheel in a shader like this? And you wondered to yourself, well, how could I actually animate this to cycle through the colors? Because down here, it's quite difficult as you have to animate several parameters at the same time. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do that. So I'm going to pull up a color ramp. Plug that in here. Okay, I'm going to set this to HSV. I'm going to click on this point here and delete it. Then I will change the color of the first point to purple. I'll now click on here to create a new point, which has the same color by default as the other points. I pull it all the way over here. And I will now set this to far. So you can now see that here in the color ramp, it cycles all the way from the, the color that you chose here, all the way through the colors of the rainbow and back to the same color again. And if I now grab the factor slider at the bottom, Let's just actually make this bad boy a little bit bigger, like this. If I grab the factor side at the bottom and move it from zero to one, you see that our colors actually cycle all the way through the colors of the rainbow, like this. And you'll notice that wherever the factor slider is, if we go straight up here, this is the actual color that we have in our object. So I put it here, we have dark blue. I put it here, we have red. Okay, now if you wanted to change the colors around which it cycles, you would go here, delete it, and now change this color. Let's do yellow this time. Now create another point again and drag it all the way here. And now we're cycling from yellow all the way to yellow. And of course, there's no reason that you have to have this color here the same as this color. You could have a different color. So let's, for instance, choose on this point, let's go for green. And here, I'm going to go for blue. And now you see we cycle all the way from green all the way to blue. So just to, also exp just to explain what's happening here is we've got it set here to far. So if I pull up the uh, color wheel again, basically what's happening because we have on the left of the color ramp, we have the green and on the right, we have the blue. So it cycles all the way through these colors, all the way to blue. So the colors that we don't get are the colors up here in between. So you notice that we don't have any light blue or I don't know what you call that, like marine. We don't have that color here. But if I was to change this to near, then now, if I put up the wheel again, you see that we're actually cycling from here this way to blue. So we're missing all these colors on this part of the wheel. So that's basically how the color ramp works. And one last little thing to mention is that um, if I just Disconnect the color ramp. Now we have white again. You you might notice sometimes that in, in Blender you don't really get pure whites or bright white uh, colors. And that's because if we go over here to color, manu uh, color management, this needs to be set to standard. If I change it to filmic, you'll notice that we get a sort of more muddy, murky white. 
back to standard, and we get a, a nice pure white. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, hope somebody found this useful. And take it easy.